guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm here to bring you my spring reading and review video. This is the video where I quickly go through all the books I read for the past season, that season being, of course, spring. And at the end of the video, I talk about my top five favorite of that. To tell you the truth, I read a lot of great books in the spring, so let's just go ahead and get started and run through them all. Starting in the month of March, I read Six of Crows, which I gave a five out of five stars. I read Solace by Gail Carriger, which I gave a three out of five stars. I read The Nightingales by Christina Hanna which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. I read Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. And then lastly, I read Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which I obviously gave a 5 out of 5 stars. On to the month of April, I read Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars, again, obviously. Then I read Into the Dim by Janet B. Taylor, which I gave 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read Flamecaster by Sidney Williams Chima, which I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Blackmore by Julianne Donaldson, which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. I also read The Yoga of Max's Discontent by Karan Bajaj, which I did a full review on, and I also gave a 4.25 out of 5 stars. And lastly, for the month of April, I read Tell the Wind and Fire by Sarah Reese Brennan, which I gave 2.5, 2.75 out of 5 stars. Moving on to the month of March, I read a lot of books. The first two I'm going to talk about are Fable Haven, book one, and Fable Haven, The Rise of the Evening Star by Brandon Mole, the first two books in the Fable Haven series. I gave the first one three out of five stars, and the second one four stars. Then I read Truth Witch by Susan Denard, and which I gave a 4.5 out of five stars. Then I read A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss, which I loved, and I gave a five out of five stars. Then I read The Trials of Apollo, book one, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan, which I did a full review on, and I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I read The Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North, which I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And lastly, I read Jenna slash Finn by Hannah Maskowitz and Kat Helgeson, which I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and I also did a full review on. Now, those are all the books I read for the season, and now we're going to talk about my top five favorite, which was really hard to narrow down, because again, I read a lot of really fantastic books. I quickly say these books are in no particular order, and I also didn't include Harry Potter, because that's just unfair for every other book in this video. <laughs> The first book I'm going to talk about is The Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North. I really love Claire North's stories, and this is her newest release, and I also obviously really enjoyed it. This follows our main character, Hope, who has the peculiar and unfortunate ability of just basically disappearing. No one can remember who she is. If she's in your presence and you leave her presence, within 20 seconds you'll forget every conversation you have with you, you'll forget her existence entirely. This book starts out exploring Hope's powers, but ultimately turns into a thriller a mystery novel, which I super, again, enjoyed. I love Claire Norris' ability to be able to give peculiar and kind of unfortunate abilities um, that are also extraordinary to characters that are really strong and you empathize with them, but also root for them. The story was just really good and I really liked it, so... Yes. Next on the list is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. I absolutely loved this book. This is the sequel to A Court of Thorns and Roses, which I've mentioned a few times that I enjoyed but didn't love, and I honestly wasn't even anticipating this book that much, but I read it. I completely devoured it. It's one of the first books in a while that's made me into a very big fangirl. Like, I am so invested in these characters and the story. It's just a lot of fun. And also, Sarah J. Maas is a great author when it comes to writing romance, plot, plot twists. It's, her writing is just extremely addicting and the story is fleshing out very nicely so I really liked it and it's definitely on this list for a good reason. Next up we have The Nightingales by Chris Kristen Hanna. This is a historical fiction novel following two sisters and their individual participation in World War II and their involvement and non-involvement with the French resistance. This book is about love, hope, family, women, strength, this book honestly like affected me emotionally deeply. Um, I loved this book. I haven't cried during a book like I did with this in a very long time. It's very character driven, which makes you again extremely invested and you just fly through it. It's a beautiful story. It's very inspiring to me. And I honestly think it offers a very unique perspective when it comes to World War II fiction. Again, we follow two women and their involvement in the war at home. We don't really visit the front at all, which is another very interesting part of World War II, obviously, but we just don't see, um, I guess, the effects of the war on home at home as often so it was just a really nice 
book to read. I really, really loved it. Next book that I'm going to be talking about is Flamecaster by Sidney Williams Chiman. Now this is the first book to the spin-off series that's set in the Seven Realms series. The first book in that series is of course The Demon King. Now this follows completely new characters and it's set probably 30 to 40 years in the future. Though I will say um, the plot of this would spoil the first book and don't read this until you read the Demon King series. You don't need to read the Air series before any of these books but you do need to read Demon King if you're interested in this. I really like this. This is just, Cindy Williams Chima is one of my all-time favorite authors. She just has a way with writing very intriguing and interesting fantasy stories that involve a lot of characters that are all different um, and ultimately have to rely or count on each other on, in different ways. And I could just see the threads of the story already starting to come together and I'm just really excited to see where the next one goes. Again, huge fan of the series. I just love it so much. And the last book I'm going to talk about is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I loved this book. This is another YA fantasy book following a variety of characters, but all of them are kind of not your perfect character. They all kind of come, they're all part of a gang and they're basically been hired to break it into an impossible place. And it's just all about their interactions and the drama and the fantasy. And it's just such a great story. It sucked me in immediately. I loved everyone and it just was super interesting. I'm so into this fandom that I can't wait for the concluding novel that's coming out this fall as this is only a duology sadly but it was so dang good. If you were unsure about the Grisha trilogy still pick this up because I didn't like that that much but I loved this. Alrighty guys those are the top five books I read this spring. Let me know down below some of your favorite books you've read recently as I would love to know and I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!